Hey guys, check it out. I'm here with the Wooded Beardsman. He just jumped off camera there. And Rob and we just built the fort in the woods. So follow along, see how we put this together over two days. This is a construct and cook. So there's also some wild food. Hey, are we gonna build the fort? Hey, we're gonna build the fort. We're gonna build a fort. A super shelter, a survival shelter, a bushcraft camp. It can be all those things, right? That's all the beaver swamp down there. I think this is going to be the spot. Um, so there's some water here. Uh, there's another swamp further upstream where I have a canoe stashed. And I can do a bit of duck hunting here. Uh, maybe some beaver trapping, muskrat trapping when I get my license. And the water coming out of the swamps, like, you still have to boil it, but at least it comes out into this little gravelly creek and uh, you can scoop it there and boil it. Like it all looks kind of good, but I guess picking the flattest spot is what we really want to do.
We're ready to go. Might be a little bit big. The end part of it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. So this is an old cedar fence post um, because we used to run cattle on the property and we used to have the whole thing just about fenced in. And this one's actually buried. We walked around all through the woods with a post hole digger and put them all in, but kind of in the way. So I'm going to take it out and hopefully it doesn't have any fencing nails in it. which is partly why I want to just use it up because it not really ever tempted to use it for anything. But I can come up with some better rope later on. I had it all cut up for a scout route to do some wrapping and frapping workshops. Back up and check. Here, <laughs> yeah. Get some perspective. Looks level from here. Um, it looks really good right there. It's a little bit high on that end. A little bit lower. That's good. There we go. A touch. That looks really good, Jer. <laughs> we got a starter with something. Yeah. One pull. Let's go to lunch break. Yeah. Two hours. Two hours work already in there. Now that we got the basic design, the rest is just going to fly. <laughs> and so this is the critical pole. Yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah, going to sit down a little bit, so... I don't know, it's a... Uh, it's a... Reef knot. A reef knot. It's a dumb place to be. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's getting in the way. As soon as you're going to drop a tree or swing an axe. You can run
that high? Yeah, I think so. We'll catch more rain though. It's yeah, it's a pretty good slope. It should be good enough. And uh, like we'll do a log roof, but we'll probably try and waterproof it with something, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to use. I mean, we'll do with our best that we can with spruce today. Yeah. See what it looks like. Yeah. It'll be all right for the winter, but not. Might be able to bark shingle it. That would be interesting. Bark shingle. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be something. Future upgrade. Yeah. All right. You want to back up, level up? Oh, we want this one. No. It's too this narrow. One? Yeah. No, that's too big. It's too narrow. We're gonna be sleeping like. We'll be able to reach outside. You want to be back a little bit, maybe. You want to make it this big? Yeah. Because <laughs> right. your bed's going to take up most of the space, but you want to be able to sit under the cover still, maybe at work, right? Okay, sure. I don't know. And if, if you want two people, maybe side by each in there. You can fit a family in here now. Yeah. We Perfect. got bigger. Perfect. We got ambitious. We upgraded. Uh, Back up over here so you can check. Down a tiny bit. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm making a promise we should get rid of that birch tree first. <laughs> oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> How come we jumped to this so quick? I don't know. You want to see some progress? Yeah. <laughs> Too much cutting, not enough doing. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, we'll be able to cut that birch tree without hitting, hitting anything. Maybe we'll just cut it off and high and leave it inside as a hat rack. <laughs> we'll fight over who gets to sleep near the birch tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. A couple left. We've got our front pole and our back pole. And I just laid one roof pole there for perspective. We're gonna get a fire started because Chris shot a hare with a bow. Um, we're gonna cook that up. And as you might know from our previous videos or from your own experience, hare is best cooked for a long time to get it nice and tender. So we're gonna burn our brush as we're working here and keep a nice bed of embers going and have that hair just kind of cooking for the next few hours. Maybe we'll bring that one little uh, roof piece over and measure some of these guys up. You want to guess? Just cut them right here. <laughs> I'm gonna guess on this one. Just gonna guess? Oh, no, this could be plenty long. <laughs> Yeah, we can always trim them off later. 
But that looks good. Because if there's an overhang at the back, it could have a big pile of firewood too. There you go. All right. Big, big one. That might be a back wall kind of a log. Back so wall is longer. Yeah. Quite a bit longer. a little bit. Hasn't really caught that well yet, but what it does, there's going to be a pretty good bed of coals here. Just want to reorganize a bit of this. Yeah, and short. Yeah, we need to cut it in. Cut it? Yeah, it needs to be shorter. like something.
think I need to be back here, but maybe I do. Heck, um, like these are way too long. Too. Yeah, well, we'll trim them after at the back. Well, can we get the two lengths out of it? From, um, oh, just, I doubt it. Um, Alternate them small and big. I maybe or put the big ones at the ends. Or just like the fatter trees. Yeah. Maybe we want the fatter trees to be up against the back. Like closer to the ends. To retain that back wall just kind of move it and add the bit as we need to go and then I'll tie it, tie it off for good when it's all done I figure there's about an hour left before dark and uh, so we're just trying to fill in this gap here might need about a dozen more trees and then we'll have a full full roof basically um, so I guess a couple of updates I jammed these uh, supports here to take some of the weight off the main beam because these are mostly green logs and there's a lot of weight up there so there's one on each side and then uh, tomorrow's project because we should have the roof on trim all the ends so they're the same length um, cut the poles for the bed to fill in a bed that doubles as a bench and then to do the back wall so the back wall is going to be horizontal logs and then the side walls probably do vertical logs be uh, east facing and there'll be a bit of an overhang for shade and shelter and we'll have a little fire pit right out in front here and I think it's gonna look pretty good and it'll be a pretty cool spot to uh, come and hang out shoot the bow Shoot the 22, shoot the air gun, cook some wild food, do some crafty stuff. Uh, got some plans. There they all are. The sun is below the horizon, so we kind of just got those guys set up right before dark's going to hit. And there's a few of the bed pieces set up here too, so that's kind of where we're at for tonight and where we will pick up tomorrow we burned most of our garbage garbage being 
most of our branches and trimmings. So that could just burn down tonight. And we're just kind of, it's a bit chaotic, but we're getting packed up and uh, away we go. You want me to wrap it up? Sure. Uh, what do you want to say? It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work and we're not even, I don't know, over 50%, over 50%. Probably. It would look better if we had a tarp on it, maybe. Yeah. And you see all the air through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if everything was trimmed up even, right? Like a nice kind of a flat cut at the front and down at the back. Let's get in there. Day two at the fort in the woods. We started off before, uh, before sunrise with a little fox hunt, but um, nothing much happened except for some blue jays and a, and a squirrel that ran out into the field for the distress calls which was interesting so uh, we're back here nothing fell down in the night we're gonna get to work on this and prep a uh, rainbow trout to cook over the fire so we're gonna start here by digging out a fire pit in the front and I want to even up these guys here and start to trim those back about a couple of tarps so we'll see which one fits best for a roof and then uh, we'll have a rainproof top at least. We're gonna have to shim up the back here. You can see it sagging. And we're gonna start to put in some vert vertical logs for the walls and vertical or horizontal logs for the back wall. Here's our fire pit from yesterday. I have uh, really fond memories of working in the bush with my dad. He used to do a lot of firewood cutting and brush clearing and uh, cutting pulp logs and things to sell and um, he would always have a big bonfire going he never left branches in the woods he'd always uh, always burn everything he'd have these massive bonfires going and then we'd come back in the morning and sometimes there'd still be a big bed of coals and he'd just throw more branches on and get it going again uh, which is always a good time big fire is big fun Uh, give this a quick touch up here. With the work sharp. Since I did so much work with it yesterday.
go. Yep. Timber! We got no uh, two outstretched arms. So for the back? Yeah. One. The <clears throat> Really the plan for these the back wall here so there are the two uprights and the logs should just sort of slot in between them as long as we cut them the right size so back wall oops going over that side and Chris just hauled over our first vertical piece for sidewalls so there'll be sidewall filling in that end and that end over there and then we'll see what we want to do with the front. Oh, this way. Because you were two plus a saw, right? But you just measured two with two saws. Yeah. Okay. Should be good. Okay. No, it's sidewall. Sure. Or do you want to manhandle the whole thing? You get, those are your choices. We can just grab the whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, I'm going to back it up that way and then go forward this okay. way. Good. Next one? Yep. Uh, I'll walk it out with you. I wonder if we should um, spin it so we get the small line down there. Oh no, it probably, probably should be good. I think we're still pretty level. Okay. Like, that side looks like it's a little bit higher up. Yeah. This one might be a bit big to fit. We'll fit it. Um, Go uh, jam your end in maybe. Yeah, and then we'll feed it through and then back up. Yeah. Okay. Get out of the way. Come on. Get out of the way. We're not here for your amusement. Okay, just a second. I did make a quick release on this. Just a second. Okay, yeah. good. Back my way. Ouch. Okay. Good? Yeah. Good.
left. How'd that happen? I don't know. Good. up I guess. <clears throat> Hang on to it. Alright, you're on. I'm just gonna roll it off here out of the way, eh? Sure. Alright. I didn't tell you that my leg strength went up a lot, eh, in my last testing? No. I was really surprised. Yep. So we do this one? Or yeah. Are we putting the small end in though? I think so, eh? So I'll go. Good. Is it in? It's in. It's not between the two. It is. You have to move the two. You have to move these over, I think. Okay. Um, it's touching the tree. Yeah. The cut's not 100% flat. Oh, so I see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it's Oops. fine like that. Or maybe we remove this one. Shove it over. Yeah. Or, or we cut this guy off flat. There we go. We're gonna have to uh, we just cut it off flat to get my long saw. Uh, I'll get you to hold it while I cut. Hold on, my finger. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get my hand out. Okay, ready? Good. That looks good. Uh, it'll settle down a bit. A few years. Yeah. <laughs> Fat end, so this is good. That one's good. Yep. Pour out. Your way. Okay. In. Good. So you're gonna hit your rope on the next one. Oh yeah. Um. I wanna move that up. I'll let you do it so you can get the knot you want.
My way. Good. We might not get another one in there until we lift this roof up. Yeah. You gotta hold it up while you slide a piece in. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna try that? Um, with the back or? Sure. That might work. And then, uh. You wanna flip this so that it's the. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready to lift. Okay, we're gonna flip this log around before we put it in. Oh, you want it the other way? Totally. Okay. Bend it so that this is kind of back. Oh, no, nothing on the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Then. Yeah, you gotta lift those the log itself. Yeah, right. nothing's attached. Jared, hey. Can you spin this so that's not going? Yeah. yeah. We can spin it. Yeah, yeah. Watch your fingers go in. Your fingers over there? They're in there. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah. Uh, like it needs to slide this way. Hold on. Hold on. There. You're good. You're good. Well, we're not some of these up, eh? Good job, doggo. Yeah, I didn't realize this stuff wasn't attached. That's all right. We'll, we'll fix them all up after. Because I'm going to adjust them and trim them. Too short for here, so yeah, we'll cut that one. Cause there, once the snow sinks, it'll be short on that side. We can chunk it down though. Get where they belong. Get all these little rafters even, either by adjusting them or by cutting them, and then be able to put the tarp on. Just using my saw as a guide for length. Rob's come out to play too. Having fun? Oh yeah. No regrets so far? No, not so far. Let's see here. Well, uh, they're not lined up that great right now, but I'll fix them all up after I get in there. Oh yeah. It means it's lunchtime. Ding! Right in the head. She won't move out of the way. There's no conditioning in that dog. I like this game. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that wall's getting filled in. So, to keep these roof rafters in place, I grabbed some of this uh, crummy rope and started weaving it in and out. And if that doesn't make me crazy by the time I get to that end, then I'm going to do it the opposite weave coming back. And that should keep them all from sliding back and forth. So that's my little task right now. Fire pit's starting to look all good. Or is this an outhouse? It's either or. <laughs> Looks like a big box grape. Yeah. 
I'm mm -hmm. a big buck. I'm ready for some supper or lunch, so. It's mostly so that. Let's get a fire going. When we make a fire, we don't lose all the coals. Yeah. Right, so yeah. now it's got a place to collect. Yep. Not a lot of people would go to that trouble, and then you make a, and then the snow melts, and it collects down the bottom. Yep. Put your fire out, and then you go back, and you gotta stoke it again. Yeah. But if you take the time to actually dig down to earth, yeah, it goes a long way. And then I just kick the dirt up, up around here, so that any snow here is kind of insulated. Yeah. And then we have a nice bed of coals to cook on. Yeah, it looks good. So, making my way back now, so I've done it going all the way to the left, and now I'm headed over to the right, and then the front will be done. It's not maybe as even as I thought it would be in my imagination, but it's not bad. A little firewood mission. Look at this. Rainbow trout, split and staked. Cooking on fire. Looks good. So my little weaving job is all done here. Get to the end. Maybe size up a tarp now. Yeah, get out of there. That's the people food. Did you do this? I think I have an idea. I think I have an okay idea. But I need a little piece of that maple. Is there still some kicking around? Oh, perfect. They're already split. I already did the work then. Nice. Split maple. Just need to do those to hold the fish in place. And I'll just tie some string around the back here. Just need some string. Let's see. Tie a uh, Fancy knot in the one end. Oh, tied it too small for that one. Sure will. It'll be a uh, planked, planked uh, fish. Just gonna pop it up. Yep. You need me to hold it? Uh, well, I'm gonna do a second, a second stick. trout on a cedar plank. I don't know if I've ever cooked anything so fancy before. Eden and her boyfriend are coming home. Want to hop in here and have a bite? Yep. Yeah. 
slow cooked Red Bull trout with maple syrup. Don't look so sad. You could go eat your dog food. This is people food. You have some Rob? Yeah, yeah. Just Rob's tending the second fish. It's on the vertical plank, so he's building up a bigger fire in front of it so it gets a lot of even heat. It looks good. There's gonna be none of this fish left. Nope. It's good fish. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, right in the fire? Yeah, I'm not gonna break my no. It's a fin. Indeed. It's a fin. Yeah. Not the bone, you don't want that. Yep. Yeah, this is tasty. On fire there. Oh yeah, it is pretty dry. I think somebody's watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Not the fish, just the plank. That's why. This one here. So my uh, rope burnt through. Just have to retie this. Yeah. These guys are playing bow drill over here. So once you get locked in. And this piece of along the spine, I just propped it up here to finish cooking. This wire wrapped hair and the second trout is just kind of smoke cooking here on the side. Just right before dark again too. Look at that. It's tarped. The hair is cooking. The trout is almost cooked. And we've got a waterproof top. Got our sidewalls roughed in. And cover the back. And that's what two days of constructing and cooking gets you. So that's it for the Fort in the Woods. Hope you guys enjoyed our journey as much as I have and see you on the next one.